I Got the Hell Out does contain explicit content that might not be suitable for some listeners, such as children, those that easily get offended, and we do recommend that listeners at work put your earbuds in if you have co-workers around. And if you like the show, please spread the word by telling as many people as you can. We'd also appreciate if you would subscribe, rate, hopefully with five stars, and review the podcast on iTunes. You can find us there as well as on Stitcher and Overcast. You can follow us on Twitter at Was In A Cult, on Facebook at I Got The Hell Out, and on Instagram at I Got The Hell Out with an underscore after each word. You can contact us through our website at IGotTheHellOut.com. Hi guys, it's Deb and Laura, and we're finally back. We are back for another exciting episode of I Got The Hell Out. And like, my I God, haven't seen you in four months. Four freaking months. We sat here for an hour and like just talked about everything that's happening. And see, we have so much shit in four months that we can't even let you guys in on the funny stories and you know how me and brother Bob almost got arrested and I almost got kidnapped and murdered and Laura's been doing you know some camping and stuff and it's just oh whitewater rafting camping I don't know (laughs) (laughs) anyway um here we are four months later That's crazy. And we have decided that we are not going to get into the debate of the coronavirus, masks, any of that stuff. Um, It will be brought up occasionally throughout the podcast only because it applies to culty life and things that are going on. Okay? Right. Um, Hi, Sherry. Who's Sherry? My best friend. Of course. (laughs) Um, of course she had to do, you know put something in there. Well, of course. Um, thank you all for sending all of your Kool-Aid recipes while we've been, you know, piling them up. Um, okay, let me get to the Kool-Aid recipe. Um, of course, we're going to have to call this one the coronavirus. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, one half ounce of tequila, one ounce of triple sec, four ounces of Corona Extra, and three and a half ounces of orange Kool-Aid because orange Kool-Aid fucking sucks. Um, yeah. <laughs> sort of like the virus. Yeah, that, that, that's the only reason I even said, okay, let's do this one because orange Kool-Aid is the worst. And I'm sorry to anybody out there who likes orange Kool-Aid, but I think I'd rather drink plain water. <sighs> oh, what's wrong with plain water? You don't like plain water? Coffee, milk, and beer. That's right. Twisted tea is good, though. I like twisted, twisted tea. tea. Is that the one with it like, has alcohol in it? in it? Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of something oh, else. Oh, no. Twisted tea has alcohol in it. And I don't even like tea. Anyway, we're moving okay. on. Okay. Um, do you have anything that you would like to say? Um, hang on. Oh, guys, this is officially episode 108. Um, but I did do a Facebook Live um, episode 108. And so... you did a great job. Well, thank you. I said um too much. Who cares? <laughs> Self-critique. And at 2645 on there, the burp I guess I did was hysterical. <laughs> I missed that. I just kept talking and I, yeah. Because you know what I did? It was You did it while I was at work. So I was driving home from work and I was listening to it. And I wasn't watching it. And I must have missed a few parts. Ah, uh, gotcha. Um, I had some people give me some pointers of, I don't have to, you know, hold the phone like this while I'm, like, showing stuff behind me. I can actually turn the picture around. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I'm illiterate when it comes to this crap. Yeah, but you did it, though. I tried really you hard. You did it, and you did a good And time. I'm sorry, guys. I probably should have done another one, but I didn't. You can always do another one some other time. Some other time. Yeah. Okay. What do you got? Um, I went to their blog. Oh, that's right. They got a bloggy thing. They do. And let's see here. Oh, you're going to like this one. Okay. Um, Little Man instructs members to rid themselves of all forms of guns. Okay. Kenny, did you hear that? (laughs) Um, Details about positive characteristics of the grasshopper. Oh, we're going to get into that. Oh my God, are we going to get into that? We'll get into it now. Okay, I have talked... I thought that was just like some weird crap. random shit. Yeah. Oh my God, no. Um, I have been talking to a shit ton of ex-members, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, I've been talking to Elder Peter, amazingly enough, because remember, I didn't like him much back then. Right. And it, like everybody else I've come across, he's a completely freaking different person. Once he's been out of the cult. Since he's not programmed gotcha. anymore. 
Okay, so he was, he's been telling me a bunch of stuff, and all these people are telling me stuff. Um, but we're going to go to screenshots here, okay, because I have to read this. Um, okay. What the hell does it have to do with grasshoppers? Okay, um, okay hold on. July the 3rd. I had to scroll through four freaking months of their bullshit, okay? <laughs> okay. This is a special announcement for everyone and for those who live away from the city of Little Man. Keep reading. Okay, I'm reading from their official page. Gotcha. No food will be served in the cafeteria after sunset this evening until 6.30 in the morning. So they're breaking the law right there. Okay. okay. They're serving food, probably not supposed to. Back to it, I'm sorry. God is offering you free of charge meals for two days. They never give away anything free. I, I was just going to say, wow. Okay. God is offering you free of charge meals for two days. God says it's a must to eat these free meals only for these two days. It is a must for you to eat these free meals only to be chosen saints for his kingdom. Are they trying to get rid of bad food? For the glory of God, these are two very special days. This law has never been taught to anyone except God's house. Established 1934. Micaiah 4, 1-3. The cafeteria and all food suppliers will be closed at 8 o'clock p.m. So you must eat before sunset. Okay? This last paragraph blows me away. Wherever you live, you are invited to come and take of this test that it is vital for life. If you cannot afford to get here, let us know immediately and we will furnish you transportation or pay for your method of travel. All you need to do is call us. When are these people giving anything meal, away free? For this meal, what is in that food? It's grasshoppers and some kind of herb. Look at your eyeballs. I can't believe you mentioned the grasshoppers. I couldn't wait to get into this. Oh my gosh. So wait... How did he find out there's grasshoppers in it? Um, because we know a lot of people. Gotcha. Say no more. Okay. Um, what kind of herb? We don't know. We don't know. We just know it's grasshoppers and some kind of herb. Now, me and Elder Peter had a good laugh because I told you back when we joined, they had these fun community potluck meals and right. cakewalks and right. stuff, right? And I do believe early on I mentioned the woman, which... I actually went onto the ex-members page and tried to figure out who she was. Um, she made a stir fry that had grasshoppers and crickets in it. Did you know that? No, because I didn't take from that pot anyway. But she got a good talking to and blah, 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 that blah. That is so gross. Anyway, they're now eating grasshoppers and... Uh, well, you, I well just, again, do the people know that that's in here or no? I'm sure they do. Um... And you have to eat it before sunset. They're free meals. I, 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 maybe there's more to come on this. Who Oh my God, knows? that's so disgusting. Um, okay. Yeah, um, apparently they've been doing this for a while now. Um, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Um, but don't eat the meals, apparently. Well, why are they offering immediately? That's, come, 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 Well, that's come. what I'm saying is what is going on for them to offer free meals? Like you said, they don't give away anything for free. They don't even give a bookmark away for free. No, 10 cents back then. I'm sure it's a dollar by now. Oh, my God. For uh, this, like, little slip of paper. Yeah. Seriously. But um, anybody who knows what this... Because it says... Um, you know, that it's a law that no one has followed before. Yeah, because they just made it up. I, it, well, it has to be in the Bible. Oh, I'm sure. I, I mean, you're not supposed to boil a young goat in its mother's milk. That's, that's one of God's laws. Okay. And I was being a smart ass and I asked my counselors at one time, well, can you boil that baby goat in another mother's milk? <laughs> um... Yeah, they, I bet they didn't like they that. They weren't real fond no. of me. No. I thought I saw the bitch I love to hate during, because uh, um, I had four months of their bullshit to scroll through. And I, Was it I, her? No. I, I It was a far shot from the stage. I did see her husband, though, mm -hmm. El, um, Elder Pebble. He was giving some kind of sermon. He looks incredibly old at this point. 
Maybe somebody, oh, and um, look, the 4th of July, there will be a special service tomorrow at 9 a.m. Now, would they celebrate the 4th? Hell no. I didn't think so. I just thought I'd ask. Um, as a matter of fact, on the 4th, um, they posted, they spent $1,000 on stupid firecrackers that went up and popped in the air, simulating war and worshiping the gods of war. Wait, they spent money on fireworks? No, no, no. This is a quote from Little Man. Oh, I was like, what? No, no. Okay, uh, they're saying other people. Yeah, they spent all gotcha. this money, you know, simulating war and blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, here's something else weird going on out there. Because, see, this show kind of leads itself. We're in, we're in screenshots. Right. Gotcha. Because you started out with the blog and had to hear about the grasshoppers. That's so funny you had something to say about that. I couldn't wait to tell you. <laughs> All right, what's next? Um, they are begging you to start your book of testimony of the history of the house of God. Show that we are determined to live by the every word of God. This is going down in the records of the courts in heaven. Show your effort. So you have to make like a diary type thing? I'm not exactly. Sh it's testimony, okay? Now... They, they, they must have had to have clarified this because their next post says, attention, God is asking everyone to get started on their book of testimony. The fourth book of God, which is our testimony. He wants you to start writing our books today. Did he email them? Uh, I don't know. Remember God's calling, has a secretary. I, <sighs> okay. Um, we have the fourth volume, book one. The apostles wrote book two. Um, the books of Little Man is number three, and ours will be number four. So let's get busy. Okay, I guess they're now the apostles, and they're writing the next Bible. Okay, sounds about right. I, that's what I take out of these. Is that what you get? Something like that, because apparently, you, what, you the Bible's get... number one or number two? What? Bible's number one. Okay. Okay. What's number two? The apostles wrote book two, which is the Second Testament. Bro oh, yeah, 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 the New Testament. The New Testament. Whatever. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, and little man, little man's three, number three, and then the members will do number four. Yes. That's the new, they're writing their Testament for future Can't wait to see that in bookstores. Generations. Would you buy it? I might get it from the library. Look, hot off the presses and they made it look like the typewriters in hell. Oh my God. <laughs> Someone had too much time on their who hands. The, who the hell is in charge of their graphics? Oh, we're going to throw bread sacks in there just cause we got to it. Look how Ooh, long that one is. That's a long bread sack. Um, most of it doesn't make, make sense. So, and we're really sorry guys, but, um, I got a hold of Laura the other day and we just decided to do the show and I was like, holy shit, I've been lazy for four months. And Me too. I, and like, my thoughts are going to be all over the place. Just go for it. Just when something comes up, that's good. Just blurt it out. Oh, we got more shit in here. Okay. Okay. Um, bread sack. Thank you, great and magnanimous, M-A-G-N-A-M-O-N-O-U-S. I don't know. Okay. Sacred and perfect in beauty and protector of the saints for teaching us to honor you and Jesus. The most mo the most honorable, most Ahab, A-H-A-B, most honored king, leader, teacher, judge over us and all to come to our savior. We also bless you for the mighty priest, little man, who rules as you rule, great God, whose only desire is to seek and perform your will, who Ahabs you with all his heart, soul, and might teach us, Father, to honor one another with the words and show our Ahab by our action. Praise you, God. Let me guess. All one run-on sentence. Basically. There's a comma here and there. <laughs> All right, sure. And, and, and what's the little and thing called? Was it ampersand? Yeah, the ampersand. There's, there's quite a few of those in there when they didn't use commas. So they sprinkled it about. Okay, hey. That's we'll take the, a comma. That's, that's the, the longest, start. That's the longest one they've had. Okay. Um, now we're going to have to go backwards. Okay. What's little man's face doing there? Uh, I had to screenshot these. Okay. Because like I said, I'm trying to cram four months worth of crap. I know. I know. Okay. Um, as we're going backwards, we're going to be following backwards. Okay. Um, coronavirus dies in five moons. It will not return. Read why. So he's saying it's not going to return in five moons. Five months. Okay. 
Um, yeah, his, because with his fifth grade education, he knows this, right? I am okay. assuming so. Gotcha. Okay. Um, they're becoming very narcissistic. Um, a quote from Little Man. I told a person yesterday who was crying that she saw no love. And I said, I'll tell you what to do. Don't look for any love from them. You show love. Get your mind off your damn self. Well, then. Uh, what is that even, even showing love? Get your mind off yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not feeling any love, get your mind off yourself. It don't matter. Go show love to somebody else. That sounds like an abusive relationship wow. to me. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, we weren't here in June. My most favorite and most hated day fall within a week of each other. So one is the solstice. Yes, which is June 21. 20th. 21. Whatever it was. We went over this back in December. <laughs> um, yeah, but we also had 613. True. So, yeah, I I had to get over that. Um, um, there's no way of getting around God. That was his quote for that day. Mm, okay. Yeah, I guess there's just no getting around God. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, um, in this, they have this day in, in history... Oh my gosh. Yeah, the name of God's work was rediscovered um in 1973. Don't let's just all forget about, you know, the the Jewish people and over in Israel and places. They use God's name. Right. But little man rediscovered it as if like he archaeologically dug it up and no one else knew about it. Again with the 5th grade education, <laughs> I'm sure. Um here's a nice one. Um we are the donkeys. <laughs> I, I, How about we are the asses? Um, the asses that follow. Yeah. You, you don't even go through this stuff. Okay. Now we've talked about the child marriages and things like that. Right. right. Okay. This is a little man quote. This means overcoming every sin you have, whether it's losing your temper, holding grudges, being late, being slothful, getting aggravated and doing things to your child or to somebody else's child that you shouldn't. Wow. Where did that come from? Uh, I, okay. That was a quote from Luke, man. Face masks. They are wearing face masks in all of these videos. And I showed you a video of them coming out. To light their little birdhouse tree things right. and blow their right. Trumpets. Well, they wore they wore the face masks out, but then they all took them off. But it's like, what's the point? Um, here we go with another face mask. And it's funny because they have them decorated as "I'm an elder, I'm an elder, I'm an elder." So I'm supposing the common people. Now here's where things get a little, little, little. Um, I'm not sure. Um, apparently he has his ninth book. Um. The Chosen Branch. Okay. okay. Now, is this a new one? I'm not or sure if it's know. new, okay. and I'm not sure how many books the man actually has. But this one, they're quoting from The Chosen Branch. Okay. Um, the reason I bring this up is because as um, another bread sack. Oh. This one reads, um, Jeremiah, what do you see? God, I see a branch. Um, and that's uh, Jeremiah one eleven. That's it. If anybody wants to look that's it, it up, that's that's the bread sack. Apparently, there's some kind of branch now. Okay, that's the bread sack. Um, hot off the presses. Mm -hmm. God knew the coronavirus would stop shortly after Passover twenty twenty. Wow, um, he knew. Well, this is April thirtieth. When remember it was supposed to be going away. So he's okay. prophesizing here that God knew. I mean, but yet it's July. And my mom's birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Happy mama. Birthday. She's going to be 72. Happy birthday. Actually, 71. She gets. I always add it a year and she gets mad at me. <laughs> but um, here it is four months later. Okay. And that's dated April 30th. It's, it's, so they were wrong again? No. Really? Wow. Um, okay. Now they're quoting him again. Somebody said we were putting ourselves out on a limb with this next prophecy. Do you get his pun there? His, his branch? His, his, his five fifth grade education mm -hmm. pun. We're getting out on a limb. I totally disagree with that. Even if God postpones it, I will still bring this prophecy. Praise God. If you think putting yourself out on a limb, if you don't believe this, 
I, he's going on with these limbs. Mm-hmm. Um, another one. Limbs, branches, apparently that's the new thing. Okay. Um, hot off the presses, May 15th. Okay. The seven corona plagues you're now suffering as I write. So there's going to there's be... There's seven? I guess God called him up and told him. Or maybe the secretary sent a memo. So there's seven... Hmm. Well, I made you watch that video of the green screen queen again. Right. Did you see that they spiffed the office up? They did a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to black her face out and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, But he still has that, oh my God, size computer monitor that nobody has that probably weighs as much as a Mm -hmm. five-year-old. Excuse me. Um, But we're all suffering as he writes this. I see. Yeah, let's see what we got next. Okay, that was it. That was it. That was it. Um, this this bread sack made absolutely no sense. So well, I'm none of them do. Not gonna read that one. Um, oh look at that! I think I got to the end. Oh yeah, I got to the end of screenshots. Okay, wasn't that fun? It was a blast. It. Do you know how long it took me to scroll backwards back to? March? Oh, I'm sure. Back to I'm freaking sure. March. Um, yeah. Let's see. What do we have? Oh. I did some um, interviews while we were gone. Oh, with who? Um, people doing college papers and things. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, um, the one lady was from England. I forget her name. Damn it! And I wrote, forgot to write it down. Um, she was actually going to use cite my cult. Um, but in college, I guess you have so many words in a paper. Mm-hmm. And there's an appendix. Right. All that good stuff. Um, she picked Scientology and I think the FDLS. Mm, okay. Because of the amount of legal stuff. Oh, yeah. She had to pick two because the amount of words, but she was taking testimony from other people. Gotcha. Um, it was interesting. I'm hoping to read her paper. Where are we going? Oh, and somebody pointed out that um, they only have like, you know, a couple hundred people on their Facebook page or a couple thousand. Mm-hmm. But yet their their videos are like, you know, 24,000 people watch this. Who the hell's watching it? Um, somebody explained to me technology again. They're called bots. Oh, yeah. So they just it on Instagram. Click, click, yep. click, click, yep. click, click. And it looks like thousands of people watch this, but they didn't. They have to cheat, and they have to give themselves their own awards. This is just crazy. Well, no one else will give them an award, so they have to create their own. You know, we should get them an award, but we have to think of what to put on it. <laughs> Some smart assy. I think it would be funny. Mm. And just send it to them? Sure, why not? <laughs> um, they had Passover. Mm-hmm. Do you know how that went? I don't know. Um... I'm not quite sure. So what color did they have to wear? I don't know. Because you know what? These masks could be a moneymaker for them. These masks are a moneymaker everywhere, and we're not going to talk about Well, that. I'm just more, I'm just talking about them saying, you know what? Hey, this month you need to wear this color. Okay. Now, here we go. Um, I meant to bring this topic up, and just flowed right on into it. Masks. Uh I have been having a really hard time with a lot of this crap that's going on in the world, and so have a lot of other ex-members. Know why? Because it feels like we're back in the cult again. Wearing the masks. Being forced to wear them. um, Being told who we can be around, how many people, where we can go, what we can do. Um, You have to have a COVID test if you want to get on an airplane. It just is insane um a lot of us have been talking to each other about the anxiety about the meltdowns just different things and all of us agree that we never thought we'd find ourselves back in this predicament of not living like we want to and there's no escape this time it's just uh, so this is probably just like huge on your survivor group it is. Um, I was supposed to go to Walmart on Thursday, and I literally never got off my couch. <laughs> um, I kept scrolling through Facebook or whatnot, and going, okay, in another half an hour. And another oh, half an hour. Oh, I know how that is, yeah. Um, I don't know what coping technique that is, what it's called, other than putting Avoidance? it off. Avoidance. It has a word. <laughs> Who knew? Um, and around, right after Judge Judy, which is <laughs> over at five o'clock, <laughs> I just, I was like, okay, it's five o'clock. I should probably call brother Bob. He might go with me. 
And then I got real sleepy and decided to take a nap and didn't wake up till seven. And it was way too late to go to Walmart at that point. So, um, and Pennsylvania, as of tomorrow, you can't go jack shit anywhere without one. Um, I, I will have to have you take, no, I'll take a picture. I'll do a selfie one. Um, I have this, this, this Lawrence of Arabia scarf thing that I, is that what you wear? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I got to see that. Um, yeah, it's blue. It's nice. My mama gave it to me. Um, it's more like, like, like a pirate belt. You do. I, I don't know how to explain it. Okay. We're heading off to pending posts because lo and behold, we're almost halfway done. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Again, that's what happens when you try and jam four months of stuff into one show. Uh, okay. I am just going to roll through these. Okay. okay. Um, I didn't write any of them down. Um, Chris asks, um, she says, so things have been quiet here and I thought I'd liven things up with a little story about my neighbor Kay. The other day I called to see if she'd look in on my cat. I was going to my sister's for the night. What should have taken 20 minutes tops took nearly 45 minutes. She was freaking out and going biblical over the corn coin shortage. Apparently, there's something about currency having no value at the end times. I think she's planning on giving me a Bible so I can read Revelations. Let's just say I'm not drinking any Kool-Aid, she hands me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Chris, hi! Um, Sarah L. misses us all. Um, we are going to approve the drink. I did substitute orange juice for orange Kool-Aid because it's just all just as disgusting with tequila. I, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, uh, Gwen W. says, thank you for accepting me. Love your story. Uh, they listen while at work. Hi, Gwen. Hey. Uh, Gwen, when you meet, meet us at this point. And Jessica C., are you guys coming back? We back. We're back. We back. Okay. Um, we're going to save that one. Um, Whitney R. What are you saving it for? Just because we can't do everything. Okay. I was just curious. I've had too much coffee this morning and I'm all excited because it's been four months. I know. I was writing crap down up until the time I left and then my little brain was going on the way here. And Okay. Um... Uh, Whitney R. hopes we're doing okay. She's on episode 58. By the way, I was hoping to hit, um, half a million downloads by now. We're, we're close. We're 435,000. Does downloads. that, like, That's blow you nuts. away? That just blows That's me nuts. away. Um, everybody's worried about us. Sam says, hi, uh, Laura and Deb. I understand why, but miss having you in my feed. Hope you guys are, you know, taking good care of yourselves and... I am so happy that all these people have checked in on us. And I'm so sorry that I didn't, like, personally get back to all of you. Um, Angela T., when will you guys record again? We're Today. recording! Um, Alexandra G. asks if we're both okay. Um, she hopes we're hunkered down and not sick and we're good. Diana L. is catching up and she's on episode 101. And um, I didn't think about this this way. What? Um, Diana L says, I'm catching up and only on episode 101. And I heard you say Kenny ate up all of your child support, taking you to court. Okay. Like he took me to court every few months. Right. And right. Like to have an attorney, it's 1500 bucks. Right. And, you know, your child support. and if you're only getting 400 bucks a month in child support. <laughs> right. Um, she says, um, well, it's better than that. He had to pay too. So not only he spent the money he sent you, but doubled how much he had to pay in the end. Because That's he had an attorney. He had to hire an attorney too. Who, who the hell does that? Like a, a narcissistic th- bastard named Kenny. That's all I can tell you. But even if you wanted to do that, wouldn't you just say to yourself, you know what? That's going to cost me some bucks. Okay. He is paying me child support and he's taking me to court. And he knows he's trying to break me financially. If you loved your children, would you try and break the person they're living with financially so they have to go without? Unbelievable. I mean, I love my mom. Hi, mom. Um, she would be the one that would buy them, like, their school shoes and, you know, a few outfits and stuff. Because, like, when you're spending money on attorneys, it just... There's nothing left. There's nothing left. And... And looking back, I'm really proud of myself on 
how little we were able to survive on. And uh, get this, Ken, all the money you spent, asshole, kids got my memories. Um, I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of money, so I went and got my fishing license, and we all got fishing poles. And we would pack pack a dinner, go out to the lake till the sun went down. You can't take those memories away? We'd, we'd go camping. Yep. Um, we'd have, we'd do fun stuff. And my one son actually told me, yeah, dad rented a speedboat once and a cabin, but that's about all I remember of it. But they can... Because the memory, the good memories were not there. But they can go into detail and tell me how much they appreciate it. Um, the fact of the memories and, you know, what's crappy is, well, not crappy, but good. Um, and I've talked to other people about this, that as a mother, you may feel a quarter inch high because you're doing the absolutely best you can. And it's just not enough. One of my best friends, Christmas, there was no money. She got one, $1 strand of Christmas lights and she made it on the wall. You have like a zigzag pattern, mm -hmm. a Christmas tree, a Christmas tree. Okay. Um, she had her children make all of the decorations and scotch tape them to the tree. Aww. And to this day, that was, her kids will tell her that was the best Christmas that they ever had. Because their hearts were into it. Um, but at the time, she felt so horrible. Mm -hmm. Um, and instead of presents, you know, she took the kids in and they decorated the cookies for their brother or their sister. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is the things I did. Didn't involve a lot of money. I can't tell you how many times we went to the park there that only... It's a half mile walk. If you follow the path, it's a half mile walk all the way around the loop. That's not a very big zoo. <laughs> um, how many times we went to feed the geese at the park. And they just remember all of these things. So screw you, Ken, and your money. There Isn't you that go. fun to say? Kenny's Corner. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't... <gasps> Oh, and a car load of fallaways was spotted heading for the sanctuary. What? Going through the gates. <gasps> and I have not been able to get the scoop on that one. So any ex-members out there who know why this car load was like going heading through the gates. In. <gasps> um, anybody in that town that would like to notify maybe the health department that they're feeding people crickets and herbs and grasshoppers. With no masks. And you know they're still doing services. Um, I showed you, I think, a picture the last time we were here, and it looked like it was taken from a drone, and they were all sitting outside. Yes, you showed that to me. Um, well, I just, all of the videos that I've scrolled through, they're all on stage. The classes, they're, they're sitting next to each other in classes. Yeah, there's no social distancing in any of those pictures. I, I can't say for sure, but in my honest opinion... Um, that video that they did with the social distancing right before their Passover service mm -hmm. was just to say, look, we did what we were supposed to do. But it's not really what's happening. Right. And are they really allowed to operate a cafeteria to begin with? I mean, are they health inspected? Oh, wait a minute. Does this go along the same lines as the slaughterhouse? Somebody just gets an envelope and they get a grade A approve? I'm thinking probably. And um, I know for a fact, somebody's daughter, you know what her job was at, what? The, at the restaurant? What? To take these nitrogen-packed buckets of rice, because we all stocked up on these back okay. in the 90s. Okay. They're good for, I think, 10, 15, 20 years. Rice? Nitrogen-packed in a bucket. Okay. It's, it's hardcore food storage from the Wilton Food Company, okay? Sure. Well, after sitting in the backs of tractor trailers in the boiling sun for 20 years, stuff ain't good no more. That's so gross. Her daughter's job was to take scoops of rice and to dump it into a bucket of water because... Oh, God, were they using it? The bug eggs, the dead bugs, the larvae, and pantry moths make stop, webs. Stop, just stop. They make webs, okay? Um floats on the top of the water and then she would have to like take a paper towel and wipe the scum of bugs and eggs and, and then um, use the rice yes oh they were serving the rice these people do not let a damn thing go to waste but yet they're giving away meals uh, well it's grasshoppers and herbs 
I still can't believe. And it's it very away. important. They will pay your way. There's to more, get there. There's more than grasshoppers and herbs in there. There's something funky. I don't know, but they don't give anything right. away. And um, this was presented to me as a first time happening. Um, it wasn't. They apparently have been eating these things for a while. Um, one of the ex members pages, I brought up the fact that I was, I would just vividly remember it was probably my second or third, maybe fourth community meal. And I'm supposing this woman was a smart ass like me, you know, well, it's biblical. I went out and caught him myself, <laughs> chopped the heads and legs off, stir, put them in a stir fry. It's protein, Laura, extra protein. I will do without. I'll bring you some. No, you won't. Um, hi to X member K. I'm just going to call her her initial K. Okay. Not the leader's wife. Um, but she distinctly remembers making chocolate covered grasshoppers at one point while she was there. Um, her husband reminded her of the mint filled chocolate covered grasshoppers. Oh, somebody else remarked on they remember how that they were kind of crunchy and chewy when you were trying to eat them. So you just got a full grasshopper and dipped it in chocolate? But you got to kill them. Well, no shit. Throw them in the freezer. But like, were they still grasshopper shaped? What are you going to do? Pound them into a pulp? You just pull the legs and the wings off. Oh. And chop the heads off. Oh. And then you get your little body. So it's like chocolate covered torsos. Basically, yeah. Fantastic. I wasn't there for that. Okay. I was not there for that. But, um, yeah, they, remember they, anything is, pro they, do you, can you imagine the people they had out there with butterfly nets trying to catch grasshoppers? Oh, no kidding. Or people laying down in the grass trying to pick through them. <laughs> I know you can buy feeder crickets. You can have like a thousand crickets delivered to your house. Oh, you can buy them at Petco. And if you ever do that. Don't just open up the box because they're not in little bags. You open a box and a thousand gonna, crickets yeah. come flying yep. out. Do you think Kenny would like a carton of crickets? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna send them some? I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, Julie W says uh, she just listened to the episode about me talking about the icky yucky jello stuff, and invited me to be a part of an icky yellow yellow page. Oh God, what is? What's it called? Um, okay. Um, Icky Yellow? Jello. Jell okay. Remember I bought that Jello book? Yes. I, this, yeah. Um, anyway, she's addicted to the podcast and we crack her up. And Betty Lou T, she wrote to us and said, I think the group you belong to reached the big times. Paracast cults did a daily episode on them and i listened to that one. Oh, i kept meaning to drop them a line but you know i finally figured out i'm not lazy i just don't want to do shit <laughs> there's there's a reason my house I, isn't clean believe me you're preaching to the choir <laughs> you preach into the choir you at least cleaned your bathroom since the last time i've been here now I the hairballs are like like tumbleweeds pipsqueaks hairballs are like tumbleweeds yeah but i did clean the bathrooms oh god um so you're welcome on that okay <laughs> um betsy c is from australia she loves her podcast and she's only up to episode 59 that was april 27th um but she got some cow shed lippy shit remember you had chicken poop yeah she I got she poop, got cow, cow stuff. shit nice yeah so you could stick cows chicken poop all kinds of things on that your stuff lips. is some good stuff okay gabrielle asks how we've been doing we've been doing well and um, this is I have to I have to El El Elder Peter. Um, this is um, the mid '90s when we used to. <gasps> what is that? That is Elder Peter and his wife. Good Lord! I Are you, you posting that? I'm going to. Okay, good. He he actually posted this himself. <gasps> Um, and it, cause he did Sonny and Cher. Him and his wife did Sonny and Cher. That's Sonny and Cher? Well, that's what they're supposed to be. How? We're in the cult. That's the best Sonny and Cher they could they come like up with. They like Bozo the Clown. Sonny and Cher did not have a rainbow wig. I, I, I don't know. All I know is this was for the David Fetterman it's show. It's like she's wearing the twister board. I don't know. Maybe he had his hands all over her later. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> So, Elder Peter, I will be putting that out later. Um, that's about all I have right now in the upcoming posts. 
And did I show you all the billboards that they have no. posted outside the cult? No. You haven't shown me anything. I, I, I have not. I'll have to show you afterwards because it's way, it's four months of pictures okay. ago. So four, billboards right right by the highway or the cult? Or they're what? right by the cult. It's got the Ten Commandments and it's got another one. And then so people on the highway can see it or no? You have to be going down the dirt road that's gotcha. not paved. Okay. Okay. Um, but oh, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Oh, can we get back to the blog? Oh. <laughs> Did the blog have anything else to say? Hold on, let me find where the hell I was. Again, guys, we got four months of crap we're trying to fit in It's here just and... like trying to sift through all of this is crazy. Um, let me see You got here. up to the grasshoppers and that's when I went, oh, by the way, that's what they're serving and there's an urgent message. And, and here we are. And they're going to pay for you to be there. And here we are. <laughs> you know what? Too bad I didn't know this before because one of our crazy ass listeners could have called them up and said, I need to be exactly. there. Oh my God. And then they could have reported live. Uh, anybody who wants to do that, I will actually tell you how to get there. Infiltrate. Infiltrate. Oh my gosh. Okay. Did you know this? Men will not become righteous without a woman. Well, I heard they stopped all marriages, so I'm not quite sure what's going out there, on out there. Um, oh, you know what I found? What? Um, I found a registered sex offender. Okay. Okay, where? Well, that lives right on the county road right there by the cult. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, not only that, We've talked about how, you know, they help people out of jail, you know, ministry. Right. Um, Samson. Hi, Samson. He um, still lives in the area, and he posts all the time the local news and the amount of freaking pedophiles that are in this town. I mean, there was one night they, they had a sting operation and picked up like 12 pedophiles. And I always look to see if, you know, they got the beard and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, most of them don't. But what's funny is, um, now the comments from when I posted this, okay? Oh, wait, you posted this in your group. No, I posted oh. this on an ex-member's page. Oh, okay. Um, because there's no picture. Picture not found. Right, it's just, yeah. It's, it's like a silhouette. Um, the, the guy's name is Jacob, and it's got his, you know, first name of James, which is because he's an alias. Right. Um, and Elder Peter says he's counted four or five on the county list that he knows of alone. Okay, of these pedophiles. Um, Z says, there's a fucking lot of them. Well, we already knew this, right? Um, and he also says, most of them are put over watching children. Oh, um, that's just great. Hi, Zeb. Zeb uh, was, um, he was a little boy I knew. Um, one of my really good friends. And um, they're all out now. Beautiful family. I keep up with them on Facebook. Um, now, this one that I just found, Jacob, mm -hmm. um, he was 36-year-old and having sex with a 13-year-old. Oh, Which God. we're assuming he was probably given this girl as a wife. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Oh, we've got some more pedophiles from there. People are sharing. Um this one here, Hi Leanne is an ex member. Um, this one particular pedophile. Oh, wait, she posted him? Yes. Okay. People are, well, ex members are That's going what I mean. through the list and seeing, well, this one, well, I know this one's a pedophile. Oh, look, this one is on the pedophile list. And they're cult members. Now, Leanne was married to an elder. Her and her beautiful family are away from there. Um, we're going to call him Elder Stubby. For many reasons. Elder Stubby. Stubby! <laughs> okay. Um, this pedophile lives on this... She's saying this pedophile lives on the same property as Elder Stubby, who's still there. Okay? Um, here's another one. Second pedophile also lives on the same property. So now you have... Wow. Two pedophiles living with Elder Stubby. Okay? Um... And yeah. they're known pedophiles. This is not just assumed. No, this, this is, is on a sex right. registry okay. for that county. So this elder knows that they're pedophiles. Has to know. That's what I'm saying. Has so there's know. no, it's okay. Now, here's something really fucking scary that I learned. And, um, okay. Guess what Elder Stubby's doing? 
What? Elder Stubby is running for sheriff. What? Can you imagine? Okay. Oh my God. The crap they'll get away with. Can you imagine if Elder Stubby is vote? Well, here's the scary part. We've discussed this in the group. Little man owns enough addresses and properties that he could have Elder Stubby win by a landslide. Okay? Imagine the power you would have. Exactly. Because unless you called in the state boys, the sheriff's department has all of the clout out there. Um, You're just running the whole show. Exactly. Imagine you're trying to escape the cult, Laura. That you just call the sheriff. I, your husband's beating you. What's the sheriff? Go- yeah. Oh, my God. Sheriff Stubby's going to show up and go, Laura. This is what the Lord wants. You you need to be more obedient to your husband. Do you want to get to the heaven? Do you want to see the kingdom? You better you better start listening to your husband, not make me come back here, because I'll whap you upside the head myself. Can you imagine the oh power? Oh my god. Because the sheriff's department investigates everything. And if you, I, I, we are all speechless. Wow, at this. that is so messed up. Um there is an actual group on Facebook called the Rants and Raves of that county. Okay. Um, and they actually are talking about the race for the sheriff's department because literally there's really no one qualified. Um, Elder Stubby is in sheriff school right now, apparently. <laughs> there's such a thing? Apparently. There's sheriff school. Okay. Apparently. Um, can you imagine... The, I would be afraid to literally drive through that county at this point for fear of ending up dead if wow. he becomes sheriff. You know what? I'm honestly surprised they haven't done this sooner. They're not that smart. I, come on. You saw wow. Green Screen Queen again. They have at least fixed the room up a bit or made it a little more modern. Or That is, that is so scary. Um, it is oh very God. scary. And... Oh, um, now, the rants and raves of that county, mm-hmm. they love picking on these people, okay? Okay. And I told you they have all these billboards up at the edge of their property. Wait, so these this Facebook group, does it have a mixture of, like, ex-cult members and people that were never in the cult? It's mo- It's it's or- just like if, if, like, we did rants and raves of Allegheny County. Okay, so it's a mixture of... It's a mixture of gotcha. everybody. Gotcha. Um, but... Erzmo Garcia in the rants and raves of that county um, puts, is this a new sign from the cult? And it reads, um, notice if you come on my property, I will beat you off. <laughs> <laughs> Do they realize what that is saying? Yes, but they're making fun of the cult because they, all, they have all these billboards there. <laughs> and some dumb this is not at the cult compound but do you see oh how they're gosh. advertising that these dumbasses I will beat you off oh my god yeah um I find it hysterical um elder Peter says two weeks ago little man had a special meeting called on a Sunday where the congregation was told to Eat grasshoppers and some kind of herb. I guess they left out the Kool-Aid this time. Oh, and look, um, the 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 cult office holders as of four eighteen ninety eight. I'm listed right there. No. Yes, I'm listed as Deb Palmer. Cause that's my middle name. Right. Cause we're all the same last name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Deb. They didn't even put my full culty name. And I'd been there for five damn years. <laughs> the least you could get is your full name. Hell yeah! And then if you if you blow it up, it shows you where everybody is living. <gasps> it has the um, state initials. Um, oh, or wow. Canada. There's Canada. Um, yeah, and, and it just has, instead of our state, it has the initials for the city. Oh. But yeah, official office holder. Wow. I'm listed on this document. Because you were special. I, special kind of something. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, and then we've got posts like this. That is Brandon, who I always talk about. Hi, Brandon. Oh, yeah. Hi, Amber. And um, Jay, I'm really sorry. 
um, she was going to that town and I was supposed to send her a shirt so that she could stand and give the middle finger in front of their gates with, I got the hell out shirt on. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get it sent to her in time and it's still not sent. So It'll get there. Eventually. It will get there. Um, anybody who's an ex-member that's planning on visiting that town and driving by and giving them the finger, let me know. I will send you a freaking shirt. Keep hounding me. Um, I want as many pictures as I can with them flipping you, flipping off the cult and I got the hell out. Yep. How about that? I would love for them to put a sticker on like one of their billboards, but that would probably be like defacing it or something. Yeah. I can get some kind of bullshit trouble for that. Probably. Um, I wonder if you could like safety pin it or something. <laughs> Scotch tape it. Scotch tape it. Would that still be considered destruction of yeah, property? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. You put know. it, like, next to it. I, I don't know. Um, and um, here's a little funny that somebody posted. They have little man's grinning face. Um, tested positive for she wasn't COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> tested positive for she, she wasn't, wasn't 19. 19. <laughs> I mean, we laugh about this, but, but it's, it's so messed up. It is very messed up, and um, I'm, we're not going to get into this topic either, but I'm sure you've heard about, you know, Wayfair selling yes, um, yes. child trafficking. Um, you know, they got Maxine now in the same jail that I, 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 I yeah, um, wake up people, shit's happening right under your noses. And I just read you that quote from Little Man, mm -hmm. to rid yourself of sin from what you're doing to your own children or somebody else's children. What the fuck are you doing to somebody else's children? That's a sin. Other than that thing. Um, look at the disgusted look on your face. Um, I expected more Mad Max at the end of the world. I expected more leather. I expected more use of my firearms. Um, it's getting crazy out there, guys. Did I, did I tell you I got attacked in Walmart? No. I Who was, attacked you? Real quick, I was... Of course, we all got arrows and this and that. And this was a couple weeks ago. and I, But you were in Walmart with an arrow? But what? There's arrows on the floor in a house oh, shop. You said we had arrows. So I'm like, what? There were arrows on the floor. And I'm in a hurry. So I'm not really paying attention. Did you go the wrong way? Damn it if I didn't go the wrong way. And this old lady and her husband got masks on. They got gloves oh, on. Oh, yeah, the whole bit. She sticks her finger out and starts wiggling it at me, screeching, You're going the wrong way! You're going the wrong way! And I was freaked out, okay? So I just stopped, and I looked at her, and she said it one or two more times, and then she started screeching at me to turn around, turn around and go the other way. And something in me snapped. And I was like, I don't think I'll be doing that. And I started to walk past them, and they are like literally hugging the shelves on the oh other side of me. Oh my gosh. And, um, again, guys, I, I'm not giving opinions on a lot of things because everybody has opinions. I have a hard time wearing a mask. I throw a scarf over my face to visit my grandma. We were not required to wear them in Pennsylvania up until a, a week ago or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was legitimately in Walmart without a mask and it wasn't mandated yet. So the husband leans over, and they must shake fingers at each other a lot. Because he starts shaking his finger at me going, You should be wearing a mask! And at this point, I had just had it, and smart-ass Deb came out, and I was like, I should be wearing underwear too, um, but I'm not. Would you really care to discuss that point? <laughs> what did they say? I walked away because I can't become a viral video at this point. I, I... You know what? I'll tell you, I would just laugh so hard if I'm on Twitter and all of a sudden I see your face doing something in Walmart. I, I would lose it. It is getting scary out there. I have watched videos that people are ramming people with shopping carts to get them to leave stores. Um, screaming, throwing things. Um, and I've seen it on both sides. I have seen people not wearing a mask, throwing things at people that are. And I have also seen... It turned into like a, mob, the opposite. a mob mentality that this woman, and it, she was in a state that it wasn't even mandatory yet. And like she was literally surrounded by 10, 15 people and they kept hitting her with the shopping carts. And shopping carts hurt. Mm -hmm. Guys, stay, stay safe. Stay sane. Please use your head. 
Um, I feel bad for all of the people that are... Imagine your daughter applied to work at Walmart as a cashier or stock the shelves. And suddenly she's told she has to go man the front door. I mean, people didn't sign up for this shit. To be yelled at. Right. To be spit on. To be screamed at. Um, again, I'm having a lot of problem with this. And there's been a few stores I've gone to that the person outside said, you need a mask to come in. And I, I told them that... I understand their policy. It's like no shoes, no shirt, no service. It's not a law. You go down to the beach, there ain't nobody wearing shoes and shirts. Um, I understand their policy, and I asked very respectfully if there was someone that could help me. And three out of the four businesses that this has happened to me, they were very happy to have somebody step outside the store. And I knew specifically what I wanted. Um, shout out to Lowe's. I needed three different things. Not only... Did they go in the store and get those three things? Um, but one of them, they brought me a three-pack and a 12-pack so I could decide oh, wow. what That's I wanted. Awesome. Um, one of the other items was a spray bottle. They brought me two different sizes. Which one do you... I, they then took my money, went inside, rang it up, brought me my change and my purchases, and I went on my way. Um, shout out to Tractor Supply. I needed a battery for my boat. And, um, and when I say boat guys, it's a little four chamber inflatable raft before you think I'm sailing the high seas and shit. Me and brother Bob almost got arrested on that one. But anyway, I'm sorry, but I'm just laughing at it. It's a blow up boat with a motor. Carry on. <laughs> Go ahead. I forget where I was now. You were getting, you were buying your, the motor or oh, the battery, uh, the battery. Or something. And they were very happy to have somebody come out. Um, I explained to them exactly what I needed. They said they'd be right back. They came back. They said, unfortunately, they were sold out. And they were nice enough to go online to see if they could order me one. Um, they are temporarily out of stock indefinitely. But these businesses, I, I wasn't screaming my rights, my rights. Mm -hmm. I understand what's going on in the world, and everybody is dealing with it differently and in different ways. So, but there was one business that, um, that basically told me to get the, wear a mask or get the fuck out. And I was shocked and I'm like, I, I needed a, a life preserver for my dog. Okay. Which by the way, I bought one and put it on her and she promptly fell over and looked at me like, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? And then I picked her up and I walked a step or two away. She took two steps, flopped over and refused to get up. <laughs> So much for that. Yeah, so she's... I have a special harness for her. She's snapped on on a line, so... Oh, you mean like when you go to the lake? When I go to the lake, gotcha. she's, she has fallen in, she's jumped in, but she's always tethered, so... I mean, she's 17 and 10 pounds. Um, but I will, will not go to that that um, that store again. Um, they were rude. They... It was, it was a pet shop up on 60. Petco, I think it was. Okay. Right next to Golf Galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I explained to the woman, I, I can't wear a mask. I know exactly what I want. Is there an employee that would be willing to help me? Uh, no, you either wear a mask or get the hell out. And I was like, have a nice day. I will never spend another dollar here. Wow. Um, so kudos to all of the people who are keeping their calm and trying to deal with the ever crazening world around us. I'm sure you've witness some shit too going down mm -hmm. um be kind guys kindness is like the one thing right now that we just it don't cost nothing to be kind slather that shit fucking everywhere and uh, for god's sake don't hit other people like what is i don't like you said i don't understand what that is like ramming shopping carts into people they were it, it, oh my god um when i watched the video it started out with the woman see i just stay away from people if you're coming down the aisle, I will actually duck out of the aisle just because you might not want me next to you. Um, but it's, the video started out with this uh, masked woman just shrieking at an unmasked person. And this other woman was trying to explain that she can't wear one. She can't wear one. Well, this shrieking woman, of course, you know, shrieking brings a crowd. Everybody wants to see what the hell is going on. Um, I, I honestly believe the end of the world will be taped, even though no one will be around to watch it on a phone, okay? But this mob mentality, she's surrounded by, like I said, 10, 15 
people wearing masks and screaming, get out, get out, you're risking us all. And I, I don't think most of those people involved in that video would have participated in that five months ago. Mm -hmm. Something to that caliber. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know guys. I, this is some tough shit. This is some tough shit that we are all, I wake up every morning and I basically look at Facebook or cause I, you know, I get WPXI. They give me all the news stories right. they're going to cover. So I don't yep. have to watch the damn news. I Same here. got it all anyway. Yep. Um, and it's like, okay, this is what we're doing today. You know, first everything shut down. Then you can open at 50% capacity. No, wait a minute, we're shut down again. No, wait a minute, you can open up at 25% capacity. And the virus goes down the bar sideways because we can't use our bar. But it won't jump tables. So again, we're not getting into all of this. Guys, I miss being here, did you? Me too. Oh, God. I'm sorry I interrupted you on your blog. That's all right. Are we going to try eating grasshoppers? Nope. Had I known you were going to mention grasshoppers, I would have made a grasshopper recipe with Kool-Aid. Do it for next week. I got to find out why they're eating bugs, and maybe I will. Okay. Find I'm, I'm going to bring you bugs. Mm, you can take them right back home with you. <laughs> Did you... Oh, by the way, um, the best of Pittsburgh is out again. Mm -hmm. We're not even nominated. Well, we're not even on the nomination list, and I'm assuming that's because we haven't done eh. it in, in four months. But I looked at that, and I went, I don't even care. Either do I. Because, like, it, I'm sorry, City Paper, but it was not an extravaganza like it was the year before. I was excited. This year, I'm like, meh. Me too. We're just like, whatever. Yeah. So, and I don't even know if we'll go. Oh, they'll probably cancel it. That's true. They, they won't even have it, I bet. And um, I do propose that if Halloween is canceled this year, okay, mm -hmm. I propose that the children stand outside in their front yard in their costumes, and the adults drive by and throw candy at them. Oh, that's an awesome idea. So, um, because they've canceled everything else in life, for fuck's I know, sake. I know. Everything that I look forward to. They I, canceled our 4th of July. They, we were supposed to have a party with a food truck and free wine and beer. Nice. Canceled. <sighs> but hey, Kennywood's open. I was there. <laughs> I was there. <sighs> Hope, do you think they'll have a pierogi fest this year? Oh, God. They better. Well, if Kennywood was open, the restaurant was not open, but all the food stands were. So we did get our potato patch fries. Okay. I can make you potato patch fries. Right anytime. Right <laughs> anytime at work. We got fresh cuts. Well, then bring them over. Well, they're only good when they're hot. They get mushy when you... Then stop over. You live <laughs> 20 minutes away. <laughs> I'm just joking. And you've never been to my house. I'll get there at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Might be 70, but I'll get there at some point. Uh, yeah. What's funny is, is I've like cocooned myself on the couch because that's where I sleep and the mm -hmm. TV is. And it's like I look around and I'm like, I really should clean this up. And here I sit with you. Here you are. <laughs> and I'm going to work tonight. So anyway yeah. you got anything to add no i don't it is freaking hot in here i know i told you this room has no vents hot as hell in the summer extremely cold in the winter yeah we were here in the winter yeah anyway guys we are finally back send us your questions comments comments whatever. ideas and um i you gotta listen to the last episode for okay guys what did i say because usually we got like 3500 downloads 4000 like, we got over 8,000 downloads on the last episode. That so. is weird. I'm wondering, did people just keep... They could have just kept re-listening to the same one. That would no, have been boring. Once it, yeah, but once it's downloaded, it's downloaded. I think. I mean, I, I don't think it counts plays. I think it counts downloads. I have no idea, but we're over 8,000 on the last one That's for weird. some weird-ass reason. Yeah, and why the hell would you listen to it twice? Good oh, Lord. and by the way, I get this chartable thing. We're like number 40 in Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten anything from Chartable in a long time, and I opened it up last week, and I'm like, wow, we're number 40 in Hong Kong. They awesome. must be bored over there. 
<laughs> Man, they're really like locked up in their house for quarantine. Good well, Lord. Well, within a week, we fell down to 300 and some. So. But hey, we will take 40. We were we on will the be top proud of 40 That's in Hong awesome. Kong. That's awesome. All right, guys, that's about all I got. I'll have to start doing stuff. And this room's just way too hot next time. Yeah. So. <clears throat> anyway, it's been Deb and Laura. And I coughed. That was not. I, I smoked. That was not the coronavirus. <laughs> We'll talk to y'all next time. Bye. Bye.